finals at the swimming pool. This will be the 200-meter breaststroke for men's the final. Keith Jackson and Murray Rose are there to bring you the action. The world record for the men's 200-meter breaststroke, 2 minutes 22.8 seconds, held by John Hankins set in the U.S. trials in Chicago. The Olympic record, 2.234, set by Toguchi of Japan in the preliminaries for this event. Among those in attendance at the swimming stadium, King Constantine of Greece. And the stadium is filled as the competitors come to the starting blocks for the final 200-meter breaststroke for men. Klaus Kotzur of East Germany is in lane number one. In lane number two, the young man who became a national hero in his native land in 1968, winning the gold medal, Felipe Munoz of Mexico. In lane number three, the gentleman who holds the current world record, John Hicken of the United States. He's from Santa Clara, California. In lane number four, Nobutaka Taguchi of Japan. Taguchi of Japan won the gold medal in the 100 meter back, a breaststroke, setting a world record. And he is in the diving pool along with most of the other swimmers, loosening up before they're called to the starting blocks. In lane number five from Great Britain will be David Wilkie. Wilkie is in five. In lane number six, we find another American. Rick Colella of the United States. He's out of Seattle. In lane number seven, a Russian, Igor Shurikov. He's in lane seven. And in lane number eight from West Germany, Walter Kusch. Now, as you watch swimming from the side, normal television coverage, you'll be watching it. Lane one at the top of your picture. Lane eight at the bottom of the picture. And as you can see, John Hinken is swimming alongside Nobutaka Taguchi in lane number three. Rick Colella is in lane number six. And if you miss the name of Brian Job, he is obviously not there. He did not make the finals. This Taguchi is an interesting swimmer. He was certainly one of the favorites for the 100 meters, but I don't think anybody, including his coach, expected him to be favorite for the 200. But here he is swimming in lane four. Something else about Taguchi is his start. It seems to be quite unique. He comes down and grabs the side of the block and leans forward and gets a very fast reaction from the start and gets into the water first. Now, I would imagine that John Henkin will try to set the pace here. He's swimming in lane three on the other side of Taguchi, and I think he would probably like to get through the 100 meters in about a 1085, which would be a world record pace. Well, he's gone right out and picked up the lead early, Murray. A lot of these swimmers have a lot of finishing speed. Henkin probably doesn't have as quite as much as Taguchi. So he wants to get out in front, and that's exactly what he's doing. Interesting point about Taguchi, too. In 1968 in Mexico, he was disqualified because they felt he was using the dolphin kick. And that, of course, is not allowed in the breaststroke. And as they head toward the end of the first 100 meters, it is John Hinken of the United States in first place. And moving up in second place in lane number six, that is Rick Colella of the United States. Outside in lane number seven, Igor Shurikov of the Soviet Union. And let's count them off for you. Touching first, it is Hinken, 108-34. Touching second, Rick Colella, U.S. Touching third, Chertikov, Soviet Union. Taguchi was fifth to touch. Klaus Kutsur was the fourth man. Rick Colella swimming on this side of the pool in lane six is in very good position, and he's beginning to make a move. But Hinken has a lot of space. They've let him get away a little bit. John Henkin leads by at least a body length. Now, as Murray pointed out, he does not have the, perhaps the finishing kick of a Colella. We know that he has not shown heretofore the finishing kick of a Taguchi, but he is so far in front, he may have enough to beat him off as they head for the final 50 meters. It is Henkin, it is Colella, and it is David Wilkie of Great Britain who had moved into third place, and Taguchi was fourth. It is Henkin still well out in front. Now the fight is between Colella. Wilkie and Taguchi. It is Wilkie and Taguchi. Wilkie and Taguchi almost even in second spot. Colella is third. Everybody else is out of it. John Hinken has the lead. John Hinken is going to win the gold medal. John Hinken of the United States struggling, trying to get home with the record. He's got the gold medal. 
He's got a new world record. He's got a new Olympic record. John Hecken, a graduate out of Cupertino High School in California, has just traveled a 200-meter breaststroke in two minutes, 21.55 seconds. In second place, David Wilkie of Great Britain, 2.23.67. In third place, Nobutaka Taguchi of Japan, 2.23.8. And finishing in fourth spot, Rick Colella of the United States. Let's go back to the start of this race for slow motion and watch well, the, again the start. Unusual it is of Taguchi. You can see he brings his hands down. He actually grabs a hold of the block and leans forward so his momentum is forward and he reacts fast and gets off the blocks before anybody else. He doesn't get quite as much distance from his dive, but it's still an excellent start and it helped win the hundred. Okay, let's have a look at slow motion of the finish and the interesting thing here will be the second place battle because John Hinking toward the up right hand side of your picture has the race put away literally with 25 meters to go. Next to Hinken, however is Taguchi and the man wearing the white cap is Wilkie of Great Britain and down toward the bottom that is Colella of the United States. Well, the story here was of course that Hinken just got too much lead in the first hundred. That's exactly the way he should have swum it. At this point, I thought Wilkie had him bad, but Taguchi with a final lunge just missed second place. Wilkie did take it, but Taguchi in that final desperate 15 meters was able to hold off Colella and take the bronze. So the final results, John Hinken of the United States has the gold medal. David Wilkie of Great Britain has the silver. And Nobutaka Taguchi of Japan has the bronze. And the winning time, 2 minutes, 21.5 seconds. 